The National Academy of Engineering has set forth 14 grand challenges. And those grand challenges are aligned to ensure that our world is a safe place to live, that it's sustainable, that it's healthy, that we can all have uh, good health care, and also that it's a happy place to be. Uh, it's not your everyday problem. It's not something that's routine. It's like, okay, here's a, here's a challenge that's facing society, and we're going to pursue it. We're going to do something about it. And I think that establishes in, in our students the notion that they're able to make a difference to do something that's bigger than themselves, bigger than the U of I, bigger than Idaho, bigger than the U.S. Working with like biological applications has really opened my eyes to how broad engineering is as a whole. Sometimes people think that, oh, okay, you're going into chemical engineering, so you only have to work with chemicals, or you're going into biological engineering, so you only work with you know, bodily functions, or you're going into electrical engineering, so you only have to work with circuits. And that's not the case. A lot of the times, all of these engineers have to come together to solve a certain issue more broadly than just the 14 challenges that it brings up for engineers to work on. Uh, it's more of, I feel like a system or a community where uh, us as engineers, even engineering students, we can come together and collaborate on different types of problems uh, with interdisciplinary fields. So really Grand Challenge Scholars is a collaboration between the entire university uh, and in a bigger spectrum, uh, the entire you know, globe. The students in this program are students that are self-motivated and they're people that, that get it done. They're people that are looking for more than just to go to school for four years and go to class and walk away with a diploma. These are students that want to change the world. When I was younger, I had a best friend uh, in third grade. She had a brain aneurysm. She was one of the first patients to receive a coil, which stopped her aneurysm from having a threat of bursting, which basically saved her life. Ever since then, I was interested in neurology, but instead I went into electrical engineering because that's uh, what my interests were. And then seeing the grand challenges, I realized that there's a really great like middle point right between electrical engineering and neuroscience. And on top of that, I can help solve a problem that would help humanity in ways that we can't even imagine right now. When you talk to the leaders of industry, what do they want from their students? They want them to have global perspectives. They want them to be able to work on interdisciplinary teams. They want them to be able to do research. They want them to have a social consciousness. They want what are the five components of the Grand Challenge Scholars Program. What really sets our program apart is this pitch event. We're the ones that came up with the idea. And that's, in a sense, just a way to get our students a little more motivated, a little more focused and be able to provide some financial support for their projects. But we're making them work for it, right? We're, we're making them pitch their idea, uh, convince the judges that it's worth funding, convince them they've got a plan in place. And that just emphasizes that other element of being a little bit more entrepreneurial and looking, looking at the business side of, of engineering. You don't have to be this like genius to tackle all of these problems, you know, if you're hardworking and you're passionate about what you're doing, you can get so far in all of these different projects that we're working on. I see the Grand Challenge Scholars Program as an opportunity for students to transcend traditional academics, to get their hands dirty working on a real world problem that has a real impact that affects real people. And so the students in this program aren't necessarily engineers for engineers' sakes. They're actually using science to improve our world.